Now for Playmates toys, this is probably a rare one and a very awkward one for me to actually fix. Can you see what's, what's missing here? Hi guys, Ralph here. This is the um, this is the fifth one of the St Christopher's Hospice um, models that I bought from them. From the they're all Playmates models. So far, they've all been working. A little bit of faffing with with one, I think, one or two. But we're on to Deep Space Nine now. Now the thing is, uh, when the whole job lot came to me and I won it on eBay and it all came great. Thank you very much for selling them. Um, this came as it is. You notice now there's two things wrong with it, but you'll figure out in a second. Um, don't know how to power, well, I do know how to power this. There's this battery pack there, battery pack there, but I am missing one there. I have got a plan for possibly making another one. I can do a mold. I can do a silicon mould and make a plastic one. Hopefully it should be the same as, because I've got two I can copy. So maybe it can be done, maybe it won't be done. And that one's a bit more, that probably seems better. But it's possible to do. Right, you might also notice that Ops is missing. And that's not the worst thing about this. Um, the buttons are on here. There's three grey ones around there and then a red one. LEDs look like they're there, there and there. I don't think there's anything else around, but I'm guessing the battery packs just go into the middle, giving you four and a half volts because you couldn't put three battery packs on it. It's also missing the stand. Again, with all of these, the ones from St. Christopher's, they came as they are. I've been looking for parts, for stands, for extra parts and all sorts. So, this came as, as it is. I had a word with St. Christopher's because they said, well, this, this is all there is with it. And I got the Borg Sphere, which they didn't know that they'd sent. And, but in the auction, they did actually have the pylons. So I had a message and they were like, it's really, really brilliant. And they found them. Here are all the pylons. Now they're all, I think, this. I think there's five of one and then one that you put the Enterprise D, which is this one here. Right, they're actually different colours as well. If you look, there's yellow ones, well, greenish ones. I'm guessing the top ones are these, that coloured now. Well done. They're all different colours. Ah, right, so those two are the same colour. That one's, oh, hold on. It's one side then the other. No, no, that's green and green. That's green and blue. They just slot in like that, basically. And then when you get this one, which I don't have the Enterprise D, by the way, I have other models which are not to scale as well. So I can have the Enterprise A. So, but the thing with it, the model you got was very similar sort of size to this, and I hope it is the same size. There's two holes inside the saucer. Now I could probably put that up there and hope for the best, that'll fit in place, but it's, it's possibly not far off to scale that to be honest, but it needs to be underneath there. So yes, that fits better if it's like that and looks like it's docked. But we don't have an Enterprise D. We have an Excelsior. Can the Excelsior go there? Doesn't look like to scale either. And I don't think the Reliant does either. Actually, where do you dock a Reliant there? Hmm. So, hey ho. That's a different matter. All six pylon parts are here. The um, the ops, which has got, I think, it's got a broken aerial there, antenna, which we can fix. That goes on here, I think, and that glues onto there. So it will be fixable. It will be fine. It's okay. It's good. But the thing with it is I need to clean this first and then we get into the stage of making a new one of these. We, it's going to be a tricky one this. So this is going to take a few days to do. So we need to clean first before we do anything. And I'm not putting ops back on just yet. Because I might break that. There's no, like I said, there's no stand on this as well. It just basically sits on and just spins round. It is a nice little model this. I never thought of getting the Deep Space Nine before the auction was there. But it's there, it's happy, it's done. So let's have a look at how 
underneath looks pretty much clean. I don't want to disassemble this because it looks like it's quite an intricate and a couple of wires going to the middle. <sighs> Some paint around there because it's obviously the same person again. So let's get cleaning. Again, I've got a heavy use of degreaser. You can use anything you want. I'm using a toothbrush. It's just getting rid of this top surface layer. It's like they've all been put in into a shed or a garage or something and it's just been left. So I'll do sections at a time to remember where I'm going. And wipe up the crap. Some towels. Oh, that's not going well. That already. Yeah, it, this is what's so good about this. It, it does really doesn't take much to get these back up to a, a decent enough standard. I mean, yeah, there it looks just just stay dirty and then come around to here nice and clean. And there's more I could do. We will do right now. Now here comes the fun part. It's all cleaned. The pylons are on. I haven't got a ship. That doesn't matter. Right, we are ready to power her up. I put the um, ops back on because that was fell off. I didn't realize there was a peg on there as well to be honest. So the peg's actually been re reattached. So let's put a battery in. Oh, that will be a peg. Take it back out again. One. Are they all up? Yep. Negative up. Positive down. Two. two. Negative up again. Right. <sighs> See if she works. Let's press this one first. Ah, that one. Oh, hello. So it does work. The lights light up a little. Alexa, garage off. Okay. There we are. First one. Excuse me. really not right with this is it? Third one, the one didn't work. Doesn't seem to want to anyway. The red one. So it just lights up the reds. And all three work, yes? Yeah, my hand in the way of this one here. Oh. That one doesn't, and like I said, I am not, I don't think I want to go inside this to see if it works or not. I think this top ops part is too delicate to do anything with, but I want to make one of these. So Deep Space Nine is, is complete, ops is there. It is actually a pretty decent model, to be honest. All being done. And at most of angles, it will look perfect. So we put these in. And you look to the side there, it looks really good. Do you get too far around? And then you have to put the other one in. Now what I'm gonna do, because the video is gonna stop right here. Okay, that doesn't fit well there. So I'll go better on that one. I'm gonna stop the video here. I need to make one of these. So what I need to do, I have got some resin, I have got some silicon, two-part silicon, and I can make one. Since I've got one, either either way, it doesn't matter which one I use. Silicon mold, it's, it's a tricky process to do, and I, I can't really film it because it'll take forever to do. But what it is, I'll get one of these parts, secure it in some sort of small box, and pour resin, not resin, pour silicon inside. Now that will cover everything of this. And I'll put some release spray, which means a silicon release, which should just get a little bit of slippiness for it not to um, fully adhere to this. And because there's plenty of little intricate parts there, I want to try and get them as well. So what I'm gonna do, 
I might actually do both to see if I can, yeah, make something of it. So the minute DS9's done, DS9's nice and clean, and it's back to as it should be, the aerials aren't exactly, um, yeah, pointing in the right direction, but I'm gonna see about doing this. There are other videos on YouTube about how to make plastic parts by using a silicon mold. I do recommend looking at those, watching those, and seeing what I'm about to go through. If I knew I had the time to do this, I would. Still weirds me out that one's clicking, but it isn't. <laughs> Shame that don't work. But I'm not bothered, that, that's fine. It, it's going as it is. This is a quite a rare sort of model anyway. So let's keep this as it is. Yeah, it, it's basically, yeah, putting the silicon, making a silicon mold of this by using a small pot and then just re taking this out of that silicon, getting that silicon mold and then pouring in resin. It, it, it's, it's, it should be as simple as that. I have done it before with other parts and they've been fine. It's just the resin, when you get round to it, is a bit of a pain in the backside. So, so far on actually restoring these, we're all fine. There's no rust in any of our, um, of the batch compartments. Everything seems to work so far. Hoping that continues for the rest of the builds. But pause here. I'm gonna jump back on after I've made one of these and wish me luck. Okay, maybe I will show you a little bit. Right, I've got two parts of silicon mixed together in here. Two of the the um, battery covers there in case. So this has just been mixed together and I'll pour this slowly so I don't get bubbles. Well, to be honest, I don't think it actually matters if I get bubbles or not. I don't know whether this is enough or not, but we'll figure it out in a few minutes. So that's pretty good. This is going to take six hours, it says, to dry, I think. Or tips use after mold after 24 hours. Yeah, fine. Not bothered anyway. Just making sure this doesn't get covered everywhere. So you can see all the bubbles coming up to the surface there. Cool. Well, actually, you can't because you're too far away. Uh, bubble, 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 bubble. See a little popping? Yeah, it's just a little array coming out of it. So what I'm going to do, because I can dispose of these anyway, they're just, yeah, curry tins or whatever else. I'm going to make a mould. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, I'll try again. The best option for pouring one of these, I think for the silicon it's not as important, but it is with the, um, the resin. Just pour it from height, just so it removes all the air. I'm gonna try it with this as well anyway. Hopefully it'll go in one decent stream. Here it goes. Okay, me, I'm crafting. I've hot glued both of those in. Oh, being a while I've got enough in here. I've got a funny feeling I've just got not enough. What do you think? I'll put 70 millilitres of each. Oh, it's not going to be enough. That's just covered everything. Wow. Literally just covered. Grave sides. I didn't measure anything then. Should have done. Should have just poured some water in that bottom one. I didn't. Now I've hot glued the two pieces to the base of that. Hopefully that should give me enough. I can make a hole to get into. So far. I think I'm nearly done. Now, there's a little bit in there, I, mean, I can't get that out. Don't care about getting that out, doesn't matter. 
that is all fully covered over. Cool. And with that, we come back tomorrow and see if it's, yeah, if it's set and done. It's still popping, to be honest. Um, can I get you in without... Oh, we'll try to start with then. A little bit of popping, if you can see that or not. Yeah. Let's come back tomorrow, see if we've got a mould. Now a day later, and I foolishly did not think this was going to work, so I did not film it. There the two pieces are. Now there's two bits inside here. This is set, this is very much like, it's, it's an awkward jelly sort of, um, it's, it's not rigid at all. It's kind of odd. Now I've cut from here, well, from the centre part outwards following the line of where the actual part is. It's very, very close to the edge there. And I'm just terrified it's going to do something. That is a little bit further away, but if it leaks, it's going to leak from there. But I'm not cut down to there because I didn't want to. So I can, yeah, I've managed to get this out anyway. So all parts came out clean, well, cleaner than my hand, to be honest, because I've been doing some gardening. Um, <laughs> inside, there's actually the full bit for both. So I am going to do two. I'm going to mix enough for two, and I don't know how much, but I think I'm going to do one clear, and I'm going to put some paint in another one, because I just need some mid-grey, just to try and get that sort of colour. So, yeah, I'm going to have to open up, pour in very delicately into the hole. If it spills over, it's on here, it's on here, and it doesn't give a monkeys. I can't believe I actually started the video without clean hands. Do apologise to anybody who that offends, because it does. It really does. So, um, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, I need some more soap and water, some more degreaser on, to be honest, I'm going to use that stuff up again. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of, because this is, when it's set, and when it just naturally goes in, it is really good seal. So, it comes out, I mean, it was only for, for like, there, and I could pull out, because there was the hot glue on the side of here, which does did actually make the little gaps up here. If it... If it goes over, I can trim into place, but I hope all the detail is made by this. Worst case, I can make another attempt. So now I'm going to use the, the crappy epoxy that I got from here. It's a one-to-one -one base. This is probably for jewellery anyway, so it's, that's why it looks as odd as it is. It does work all right, but again, it's another one of those. It's going to take a day or so to do. So let me mix them up. <sighs> See, I did to the 70 milliliter mark on both of the two parts before, but this is not 70 milliliters. For the whole lot of this is 140 milliliters. That is the equivalent 140 milliliters minus the actual part. So it's probably, a, if it was solid, 150 milliliters. <sighs> do I need 10? Do I need 20? I think I'm probably gonna do more than what I want anyway. I think I need two. Hmm. I think I'm going to do 30 on each, that gives me 60. It's too much, I know, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. I'm going to put this level. If it comes over, it's going to drip into here. I've still got a, uh, if you look on there with a pot, um, there's a knife and a, well, there's, a, there's a, a, a cup and a fork on there. Because that's what was in the bottom of here. Ta-da! Right there. So, I'm going to mix them up in here. One to one ratio on these, which is good. And we're going to faff around with three to one or whatever. I could do three to one, it'd be easy enough. If you do 30, and then you fill up to the top anyway. 30, 60, 90, 30 to two. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. So I need one of these. I'm going to do 30 mil and then a 30 mil. Gives me that much to gently pour into both sides. But like I say, one I'm going to try with paint and see what I can do. Okay. Mixture is done and I think I have got way too much for this, but that's fine. I've got more than enough than what I need Um It's always good to mix these in as good as as much as possible Shall we say so? I'm gonna use the left one for the clear and I'm gonna go for right one when I've added some paint So this is gonna be awkward anyway so I might leave it five minute now there's plenty of bubbles in there. The bubbles will come to the top eventually, but they will be painted over anyway. It's just hopefully 
the bubbles uh, will be on the edge, they'll be inside if needed. Well, if, if it's worst case. So I went there for a little bit. I would recommend if you ever want to reuse your pots, when you've got too much in there, put your stick in. Because the stick's useless anyway, because you can wipe off as much as you want, but they don't need lollipop sticks anyway. But if you want to just leave a stick in, and then once you finish, you can pull out the entire lot. Unless you want to keep these, because I've got a few of these already, which are like, um, they're like little pucks. They're like um, food discs from Battlestar Galactica or something. It's, it's really weird. But if not, no. I'm not saying eat them. Please don't eat them. But um, they're just little things that maybe I could use in the future. I don't know. So, I can't really pour this high enough up. So what I'm going to do is just go there, squash in the tub a little, and then just pour in delicately. Yeah. <laughs> Not my middle name, unfortunately. I'm just going in. Oh, there's a going inside all of it. Um, is that going in? Look at that. I've hardly used anything. Um, I'm just trying to make sure it goes in more than anything. I know there's going to be some flashing I need to um, remove afterwards, but just let it gently bring itself up. This is going to be a messy job if you don't use gloves. I'm just going to reuse that by doing that anyway. <sighs> I've got all that lot left. I'm going to just go over, tidy up, because I don't need that much. Oh, this is messier than I thought. I mean, towels are over there. Might not work. Really might not work. Oh, that's just soaked in. I think I've either squished it out, that's soaked in, but that's a lot lower than that. And get this on your fingers, it's not, in, it's not, yeah, it's not toxic or anything like that. It's just a pain in the backside to get clean and get off. But it is a lot lower now than what it was, so I'm gonna put some more on there. This little drop. If it's over, it doesn't matter. Miss completely. There you go, wait for it. There you go, done. That's over and covered. Now, the next bit is getting this. It's not, I don't think it's gonna work. I think that's gonna be fine as it is. So I'm going to put a few drops of paint in. If it works, so be it. If it doesn't, I don't have the right colour. I have a dark grey and a, light, a very light grey. So I need to... Um, oh, washing that stick was a waste of time. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I need to measure out. Let's go for... One. Two. Let's go for three. Four. Five. Drops of dark and a couple of light. One, two. This is far too much than what I need. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm still gonna paint one of them. I thought I did do one not long since and it did kind of come out. All right, this is probably gonna end up being gloss more than matte for what they are, so. Colour match, and a drop of white, it's not mixed in. A couple, because there's a lot of stuff in there. Might have put too much black in. It's coming around. So this will definitely need to be a lot of mix. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not enough paint for the actual resin to do anything with, because it's still too transparent. Yeah, unless I put a lot more resin in this, this is not gonna work. I'll try with a little bit more white. 
well, lighter. I have white anyway, so I want to use the white. Stop wasting me dark grey. I use the dark grey on the Enterprise D parts that I've covered over. The dark or light, I think it's 2 1 or a 1 to 2 mix, and it does come out not far off. I don't recommend um, going away from the actual instructions of how to do your Enterprise D, except I have, and I don't care. That's not bad. If it actually stayed as is, I'd be happy. But it's not going to. I know it's not. So the left is still fine. That's over, which is good. Perfect. I don't think that's enough mixing. But let's get on with it and see what we can do. So again, we've got a bit more of that came out there anyway, so that's going to be a lot better to pour into. At least I hope it is. Yeah, no, yeah, maybe not. Oh, that's way, way too much. That was very silly of me then. Just push it in. So that's all in there, I can see that, and then just... There's not enough in that left-hand corner. I think that left-hand corner was the bit that was... too close to the edge anyway. I see it squidging into there. Let's try to put it into there a little bit. That side seems fine and I shouldn't need to. Look how much more I've used. <laughs> so let's just do that. Leave the excess on top. Oh my bin's gonna get covered in resin. <clears throat> That's still okay. It's actually water it down a little bit more. I don't want that. That's up to the level on there. What I'm going to do is just put a little drop on there just to um, over it. And that's done. Right. Without touching anything else. See, it's not a bad match, but it's not going to stay that way. I know it's not, which is a shame. So. Leave that 24 hours. I mean, you can see there. There's the um, yeah. There's a clear and there's the grey. It's all inside. If it don't work, it don't work. Then I'll have to um, figure out another way of doing one of these. So back in the day, right? 24 hours later, both sides are really dry. Silicon's no problem. I'm gonna film this this time because I um, messed up last one by not showing you all. So let's have a look to see. If okay, Ooh. see, I could quite easily just rip open this. It's come off from that side rather well, and I can use that lever to pull this off of here. It's nice and steady, no um, rushing or anything. See, the true test will be it does this actually fit. Oh, look at that coming off now. If it doesn't fit, then it's not much use. I could do it pulling that top side out first because it's near to there. If it tears, then that's the end of this mould. But hopefully... Hello? Oh, cut off bubbles in that. <laughs> it's actually not a bad mould. Now... There's the original. Okay, let's try the grey one then, shall we? I mean, yeah, the bubbles are ridiculous. That will paint over, so don't worry about that. I could trim that down. There's actually not much flashing on this. There's the parts there it connects to. I'm going to try, cut that off, and see if that'll fit. It's really nice and smooth. The, um... Ooh, that's a, that's a part. This hasn't set right. So it's still a little bit pliable. Okay, 
Look at that. It's actually not bad. Yeah. I don't think this is set right. It's either a big hole in the top of that one, or it's just not gone right. Hey, look at that. Another one. Tons of bubbles. That's missing that section over there. That one isn't. Is that section still in there? No. I mean, it's not perfect. It's in the top. It could be in there if it's anywhere. No, I never poured right, did it? Right. What we've got, I think that still needs to cure, but I'm going to test these. I have to test them to see if this fits. So, obviously, the um, goes in that way. That fits in and it just rests in place. It doesn't really solidly go in. I don't think this one's going to be used. A little bit extra on there. There's some holes on there anyway. So let's try. Why is it so much? It's missing all that section there, isn't it? Is it too long? No. The parts I just clip underneath it are just missing. His tabs. So, colour-wise, yeah, not too bad. It's shrunk in the mould. But still, let's try this one, because this has got the tabs on the back corner. Oh, did you hear that? It clicked into place. So what I'm going to do is... Right, because I'm going to use this, what, this clear one then. And then paint it, I've lost a, a leg. Is is that all the way over there? There's definitely some definition missing off of these two parts here. Is this right on here? No, they're in as well. It's missing the corner parts there and there. I think what I'm going to do for this video is let that cure, paint it, and see whether or not I can do anything with it. I'm going to trim that bit off of there because that's kind of not needed that was the part that I pulled out it's an, an absolute perfect copy of the glue that was in there gone see I could quite easily just cut down there and just use that I need to be careful because this is definitely definitely works but I think I need to move that bit up while it's still pliable so it'll lock into place. Hmm. See, that actually locks in place now. Yes, I did lock into place. Yeah. And to be honest, for me, that's not bad. Not bad for a first effort. I could try again in my own time, but I think that's fine. Yeah. Where's my leg gone? Where's my pile on gone? Yeah, I think I'm happy enough with that. So, I don't think I'm going to bother, because that goes flush into there, that kind of does as well. Look there, that's fine. I'm actually happy enough with this to put that one back in there. I know it's the wrong one. Still, it fits. That one actually does fit, even though with a massive gap on it. I just need to cure, or did need to cure. So, the original one's there. Let me try... Because I know a couple of these are a little bit loose. Ooh. Okay. I think I can get away with it now. I mean, if I do sell it, then... That is very loose in there. If I do sell it, it'll just say one was re remade. Because. That's fine. There's no lies, no whatever. It's just been lost. Cool. Done. That just needs some paint. And I think I'm going to leave the video there. So that's pretty much restored, happy. Apart from, apart from with one of the bits that's missing, which is fine. But one, not one of the bits. One of the buttons that didn't work. Which is that one? I'm not bothered about doing anything with that because I don't want to dig in too much with this. So if I take that part off, middle, I'm going to take everything off. So it comes up in one whole lot. 
but that might be enough with that. That's like I said, that's got a set. Then I'll paint the same colour as this, it's just one coat. It's yeah, like I said, the, the, I think what I'll do is I'll cut. Oh, hold the front door. This is overspill on this side, that will cut down. Hmm, okay, so I could actually just cut that bit off and just leave it as is. Cool. I'm happy with that for what I've done. I'm happy and I might try in my own time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, consider being a Patreon. Happy that I've managed to keep this clean, try to get it restored. It's not perfect. I know it's not perfect. None of these are perfect, but it's the best we can do at the time being and I can play about in my own time. Consider being a Patreon, consider being a YouTube member, consider a donation. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.